Being with Elf fans. Tonight we are reading Being Thankful. I stopped my scooter in front of the toy store. Wow! I wish I had the, a Speed Blaster ZZ scooter with silver wheels, I said. You already have a scooter, said my mom. It's not nearly as good as the Speed Blaster ZZ, I said. On our way home, we passed by we passed the movie theater. Boy, I wish we could go to the movie theater, I said. But we're going to watch a movie at home tonight, said my mom. We did watch a movie on our TV, but it wasn't nearly as good as going to the movie theater, even if it did have popcorn. The next day at school, Gator was wearing brand new AR Fly sneakers. I wish I had brand new AR Flyer sneakers instead of my plain old blue ones. At home, when it was little sister's turn to use the computer, I asked, when was I going to get my own computer? But you have a computer, said my mom. Sharing it isn't as good as having your own computer, I said. At dinner, I said, I wish we could go out to a restaurant to eat. I like having dinner at home, said my dad. Don't you wish we had a bigger house with a pool and an elevator, I asked. I like our house just the way it is, said my mom. As we were reading before bed, before bed, dad stopped the story and said, there are a lot of people who would love to have the things like ours. You should be thankful for what you have instead of focusing on what you don't have. On Saturday, Tiger's dad took us for a ride on his boat. I wish I, we had a boat, I said. Going on a boat ride is fun, said my dad. Not as much fun as going on your own, I said. The next day, our whole family went out for ice cream. The boy behind us got a giant ice cream sundae with whipped cream and a cherry on top. I wish I had a sundae instead of this boring cone, I said. But little sister bumped into me and I dropped my ice cream cone. Look what you did, I said. I wish I had a big brother instead of a dumb little sister like you. Little sister started crying. Say sorry, little critter, said my mom. You didn't want your ice cream anyway. The next day, I went to Grandma and Grandpa's farm. I helped Grandma feed the chickens. See how happy the chickens are to eat their seeds? And Grandma asked. I smiled. Grandma was right. Next, I helped her feed the pigs. See how happy the pigs are to eat our leftover food? Say, Grandma, cute little piggies, I said and smiled again. I felt good to make the farm animals happy. Does feel good. But I've never been to a farm. I wish I had. I just wish. Then we picked blueberries. I wanted to make blueberry pancakes, but, but Grandma and I made Grandpa's favorite. Blueberry pie! That made Grandpa happy. I wanted to pet White Kitty, but then Gray Kitty jumped on my lap, so I petted her instead. That made Gray Kitty happy. After that, I wanted to watch TV, but instead Grandpa played his ukulele, and Grandma and I 
sang along. That made everyone happy. Never played a ukulele. I have no idea if I want to, but I'm not. Because I want to play the drums. The next morning, I found a blue rock next to my bed. Why did you give me a rock, Grandma? I asked. It's a thankful rock. I have one too, Grandma said. She showed me her green rock. Remember how happy the farm animals were with what they had? And how happy we can be if we decide to appreciate what we have? I nodded. Then Grandpa pulled his thankful rock from his pocket. That w that's what it means to have gratitude. To be thankful for everything in your life, said Grandpa. Sometimes when I forget, I look at my thankful rock and I praise God for his goodness and for all the things I'm thankful for. Like you, little critter. Where can be any surprises in your life? When I got home, little sister yelled, I wish I got to go to the farm instead of staying here in our old boring house. Mom looked at me, and I wish I had brand new purple overalls with silver sparklies like Bunny. I instead of these yucky pink ones. And I wish, little sister, I said, I have, I bought something for you. Oh, that's nice of it, right? I gave little sister a red thankful rock. I explained what grandma and grandpa told me about being thankful. When I started wishing for stuff, I look at it, and I remember all the good things I already have. And I said, th then I start to feel happy again. Try it. You'll see. Little sister gave me a hug. The next day, little sister took her thankful rock everywhere she went. She even kept it on her pillow that night. I think she looks happy already. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. Make sure to share and subscribe. Have a great night and be good.